your daily spiritual message, your daily reflection on this beautiful Thursday, July the 4th, 2019. However, my love muffin, whenever this video shows up in your life, that is when it's meant for you. We know that time does not exist. It is an illusion, okay? there. It is never too early. It is never too late. The only thing that matters is right now. And I've really been practicing, my, practicing myself to really be present in the moment, <laughs> all right? Because in the moment, my love, is how you are really going to shape your future and also walk away from your past. So also guys, if you hear anybody snoring in the background, <laughs> it is very early in the morning as I am recording this. Um, that is my godson, Tristan, he's snoring it up. But, um, so I just wanna let you know if you hear any noise, that's what's going on. So I hope that you guys, okay, we know that we are in Mercury retrograde. We know that there is there was a total eclipse, <laughs> solar eclipse. Also, we have a new moon in Cancer. There is a lot of things going on, okay? So in the midst of that, with emotions running high, with you going deep, with you healing, with you removing yourself from certain people, situations, place, places, beliefs, things, okay, there is a lot going on. I really want to make sure that you take the time today love muffin to ground yourself to do something on a spiritual level meditate honey before I have a conversation like I know when I have to have like a conversation with somebody I'll let them know like I'm gonna call you right back I meditate or even if they're physically in my presence I'm like hold on I'm gonna go meditate that's my thing I I that's my thing and I'm sticking to it <laughs> right now as we really um experience this energy because Listen, listen, you know, I'm a Sagittarius, so, you know, we kind of loose with the mouth anyway. And, um, you know how we do, we think, we think later and we say first. So I really want to make sure that it's coming from my heart. Okay. Or even if not, you know, I don't want to give any situation belief or thought. I'm not entertaining anything that really, really is not serving me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like this is the way that we are all moving on a conscious level. We are literally disconnecting with people, beliefs, thoughts. It don't matter. Anything, anyone can get cut when it comes to your peace, when it comes to your, um, <laughs> you know, your, 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 your aura, you know, your, your energy field, really protecting your energy, really loving yourself and, you know, despise what, we are taught that we are meant to, you know, sacrifice ourselves and just deal with and just put up with anything. That's not true. You know, even when it comes to a career, even when it comes to, you know, family members, even when it comes to relationships, even when it comes to your finances, that thing that you just have to, you know, suck it up and just get through it or just, you know, sacrifice yourself and just deal with what you have, whatever you have. We are all on a conscious level realizing that that is not true. You know, that that is a flawed premise. <laughs> As Abraham Hicks would say, that is a flawed premise, honey. So, you know, really make sure that you take the time to ground yourself, meditate, do something on a spiritual level that's really going to help you um, process what is transpiring out in your life, okay? Because for all of us, it looks different. It might be in a different category. It may not be a, a serious. My it, What I'm dealing with may not be as serious to you as it is to me and vice versa for everyone. But at the core of us, we are looking at things, we are dealing with things, okay? And one of the things that spirit placed on my heart, okay, literally as I was in the shower, as I was just reflecting, just, you know, doing what I do in the shower, that's like my thing to do, re reflect in the bathroom, <laughs> in the shower, that's why it takes so long. But um, 
I literally got a sweet, simple channel message that not every person, place, thing, or thought deserves your attention, deserves your energy, time, whatever, whatever, whatever word you feel comfortable using. At the core of it, I really feel like today, you know, it's really going to be intensified. Even if you've been realizing that it's going to be intensified where not everything deserves your response. Okay. Not every situation that you have to comment on, not every, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you got to say something or you got to give it your energy, you know, or you have to entertain that thought or you have to entertain that belief. Like right now, I really feel like today you're realizing that no, you don't. You know, and I was going to like pull the cards out live, (laughs) like, but when I was shuffling, you know, meditating, really getting ready, these cards wanted to fly. So I was like, you know what? We're going to roll with it. Who am I to tell spirit how we going to roll the show? So, um, (laughs) I already went ahead and just pulled, um, you know, what it is that the divine wants you to know about today. What, of what is of importance that's going on. Cause I really feel like whatever you are going to be learning and I, I really feel like it's on an internal level spiritually, but it's really going to help you make a physical decision, a very important decisions that I really feel like are going to be shaping your life for the next couple of years. You know, as we come into 2020, it's really going to help you the decisions and the things and the beliefs and whatever you're choosing to entertain today, it's really going to benefit you for the long haul. So I really feel like this is why it's magnified today because you're manifesting. As we are talking, you are manifesting. As you are thinking, you are manifesting. That is a beautiful, mystical, magical thing right there. You are literally picking and choosing what will be in your future. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, (laughs) you've paid a debt. Okay, that debt, whatever that past thinking, stinking thinking got you, it's okay. It all happens to all of us. But right now, there is a new beginning right here. Okay, so I really feel like the divine wants you to grab and really realize that, you know what? Not every situation, not everything, not every thought deserves your energy, deserves a response from you. Because when you feed things, when you give it your response, when you direct that energy there, you're asking for more of that. You get what I'm saying? You're pouring into that. You're giving, you know what I'm saying? You're getting, you're giving to that. But on a soul level, like I really want to look at the beautiful soul. (laughs) You, you right there. I just really want you to look in the mirror. Okay. Find a mirror or turn that phone around to selfie mode. I cannot stress that enough to you. Like my love muffin Sierra said, give yourself a hug. She loves to start her day off with giving herself a hug. Oh, (laughs) you know, um, I was hugging myself guys. But anyways, um, I'm just so utterly proud of you because the places that you are going, all right, the level of you living outside of your comfort zone, getting, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. All right. Um, is really going to, if it hasn't already, I really feel like it for a lot of you, it has really going to unravel some beautiful things into your life. Okay. Um, and I don't know, have you ever experienced like when you're manifesting or you have your, you know, intention set on one thing all of a sudden, all these mystical, magical little things, you know, desire your um, <laughs> attention when you get in a relationship, you know, for the whole time you've been single. But as soon as you, then, you know, you know what? OK, we're going to do this and you find somebody and you guys are liking each other. You're flowing and you get committed. Everybody wants to come out the woodworks and, you know, confess their love for you. Situations like that, even with family members, you know, um. I really feel like, you know, Mercury retrograde is is strong in communication. It's strong and, you know, um, with the internet, I mean, I don't even know, but Instagram went down, (laughs) you know, Mercury retrograde really deals in that area. It's really our communication. Um, and I really feel like that is going to be tested. Okay. So today, no, 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 no. If it's not growing you, if it's not feeding you, you know, um, I wouldn't give it any, I wouldn't give it my attention. And and you're talking to Tori and, and it's not even like I was hit with a situation like that too, 
where I had an opportunity, I could have responded. Even though I was right, I could have, you know, plead my case. I could have laid fact for fact, but I had to think, you know, I had to think to myself, you know, is this really worth it? You know, does this really deserve a comeback? Because I know when I said that, that it's going to be different things that's going to break off and spiral. And, you know, before we know it, we can be way down in, you know, whatever land, you know, no. So I thought to myself, you know what? No, I'm not going to give this my attention. You know, am I, do I want to respond because, you know, I know I'm right. Is it me wanting to respond? You know what I'm saying? Is it me wanting to give it my attention or is it my ego, you know? So that's something that I had just had to like really figure out. And I realized, you know what? No, I'm no longer entertaining things that are not, you know, really for me. Things that are not benefiting me. Things that are not, you know, furthering me on my path, you know, that's going to knock me off. I'm going to get there, but you know, I might have to take a detour or it might be delayed. Like, no, why do that when it doesn't have to be that way? And I really feel like the divine wants you to grab that, that it doesn't have to be that way, that it doesn't have to be delayed. It doesn't have to be next week. It's here now. All right. It's just all about where you are choosing to direct your energy And realizing that not everything, everyone, every place, every situation, every thought deserves your response and attention. Okay, (laughs) so I want to go ahead and pull um, this card right here. All right. And we have awaiting results. Okay, awaiting results. And coupled with that, around this brim, okay, it's red. So we know that this is dealing with the root chakra. This is our relationships our um, stability, okay, (laughs) our security. So anything um, really dealing with the root chakra, relationships, love, you know, um, even down to pain. That's where we usually hold on to our, you know, the the hurt or the, the memories of things that have happened in relationships, whether it's in a business, it doesn't matter. I really feel like um, there has been something that you're desiring, okay, Remember I said you're manifesting something and you've been doing good, honey. (laughs) You've been doing good. And I know that you are awaiting results. And this is why the divine wants you to get it today that just be mindful where what you give your response, because, you know, if you're desiring, you know, finances, you know, to switch your finances around and you've been doing good and you've been doing your affirmations and you've been positive, you know, but you let something, you know, throw you off. You know, I'm not saying that that's never going to happen, but you pick yourself back up. But, you know, like, no, when you just start going in, when you just start thinking like, you know, I'm never going to get this job. Like, it's never going to come through. I'm always going to be here. I'm never going to have enough money. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're when you're really when you let one thought, you entertain one thought. And before you know it, it's like, oh, my God, you know, how did we get here? Um, So what I want to do, my love, is I want to read awaiting results to you, okay? Because I really feel like this is the core of the message today. You know, there's something that you're desiring. There's something that you're waiting on. You're waiting to hear something, okay? So it says, awaiting results, key words, patience, assessment, outcome, all right? It says you've put much energy into creating and attracting the relationships you desire and are eager to see positive results. Patience is needed. However, reshaping attitudes and beliefs take time, refining yourself so that you'll attract just the right person in the process. So this could be in a relationship. This could be with money, but this is why you want to be mindful not to give everything your, your, you know, your response, because like I told you, you're currently manifesting an amazing, amazing situation, whether it's in love, your finances within yourself, all of the above. Okay. It hasn't quite got to the vision that you are holding in your heart and you know, in your heart, but it is shaping. Okay. And like I told you, in this new moon in Cancer and also in this solar eclipse, you're going to start seeing tangible evidence, all right? Little clues, little gifts from the universe to let you know, like, yeah, you know, this is very real. Like, you are manifesting, okay? Things are real. Like, this is attainable. 
So, but I feel like being that it's not here yet, sometimes we get a little worry. Like, why do I have to keep going through this? Like, I'm tired of going through this. I'm tired of, you know what I'm saying, dealing with the same people when it comes to relationships. Like, you know sometimes how we can just let one, entertain one thought and then before we know it, we're just all the way out yonder. <laughs> all right. So um, to really support awaiting results, okay, the first thing that we have, I really feel like with whatever is requiring patience, okay, you know, with this eight of swords, I really feel like this is you, Okay. With whatever situation that is really like, um, <laughs> you know, really that's requiring you to be patient, that's requiring that you, you're you still awaiting results and you haven't seen the full manifestation of it. You don't quite understand, like, why does this keep happening? Why am I here? Like, what's going on? You know, um, I really feel like this is you. And this is why the divine is asking you today, you know, what's really being implanted in you is you realizing that not everything deserves your response. Okay, because with the Eight of Swords, this is all about you choosing, okay? This is your free will. Nothing is tying your hands. Nothing is tying this person's hands. They are making a conscious decision, whether because they're scared, they don't want to see something that maybe, um, you know, they need to look at. Like I told you, I had to look at, like, am I going to respond? Like, am I doing it out of love or am I doing it out of my ego? You know, why do you, you know, clearly this person... This situation isn't ideal for me. Why do I keep, you know, going here? And I know, guys, it's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's like, when are all like the bright readings going to come? But I promise you, um, it is. OK, but first, it's about you freeing yourself. OK, changing your perspective. Finding the beauty in every situation. I know that it hasn't come yet, whatever you're waiting on. Okay, I know that it hasn't come yet, but what I can tell you is that you're manifesting. It's it's here, it's coming. You have the eight of wands, honey. A eight of wands. It's a swift new beginning. Okay? It's literally not as far as you as you think it is. Okay? A swift new beginning. Boom, <laughs> you know, just like that. But I really feel like, you know, to really, um, you ever seen that picture? Like you're there, you know, that's what I told you when I, when I was giving my cancer, new moon and cancer, like no matter what you are looking at, no matter what you be, may, you may be experiencing, do not give up. Keep going. You're at the gold. Keep going. Okay. You're literally at the gold. Keep going. You know, I really feel like today it's all about balancing your ego with the higher front. All right. Going inside, you know, really realizing, are you operating from a place of love? Or are you operating in your ego? And this can be in any, any situation, believe it or not. And, and people think like the ego is always angry. No, the ego at times can make you, you know, stay in you know, situations that, you know, you know, it's not ideal, but in order to, you know, make somebody else comfortable in order to, you know, quote unquote, keep the peace, <laughs> you know, we act like we're going in, you know, energy of love, but it's really out of, you know, scared out of, you know, out of fear, anything of those, you know, um, those natures is usually coming from the ego. And at the end of the day, I've learned to live with my ego you know, to have a balance in my ego. And even with that, change your perspective. Maybe you're always looking at your ego so negative. No, it's not that, but it's a baby. And it, it's not allowed to drive, you know, front, you know, it, take the wheel. It's like, no, you know, you know, you, your, your ego's a baby. So sometimes, you know, you gotta, you know, tell the baby what's going on and you gotta sit the baby in the back in the car seat because, you know, even to ride passenger side, no, no. Babies can't ride and the, you need to be in your seat, you know, so you 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 really have to um, go within today and just um, really feel, you know, really feel like I said with that situation, even though like, OK, I was right. But, you know, why did I why would why did I need to prove to that, you know? And when I scale back, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I was in my ego, 
you know, <laughs> and it's okay. But I really feel like, you know, deciphering, you know, what, um, how you're operating in your ego or whatever you're doing, especially, you know, with looking at giving things your attention, you know, not realizing that everything deserves your response. This is where the ego comes into play because certain situations that we're like, you know what? Uh Uh-uh. That's usually us flowing out of our egos. This is where the ego loves to show up. You know, when you're entertaining a thought, a belief, a person, a situation, okay? You know, that brings, that sparks up those triggers, that spark up those insecurities, that, that sparks up that maybe you're not feeling worthy enough for this opportunity that, that's lying to you, okay? <laughs> because they just don't, the ego just doesn't like to do anything new, come out of a comfort zone. Okay, but I really feel like you getting a balance on that today and realizing that every thought, person, place or thing deserves your energy, deserves for you to entertain it. All right. It's really going to help you make a physical decision. All right. With the two with the two of pentacles, it's all about an outward. This is like in the now versus when you see the two of wands. When I read, I see like an internal. But even though you're making internal decisions, these decisions are going to help you make some important decision today concerning your ego, you know, and how you're going to look at it and how you're going to go about it and how you're just not, you're not going to let a situation or old habit. Cause that's my thing. Like my thing is, you know, I got to get the last word. Well, the last six words, just to make sure I got the last, last words, <laughs> you know, that's, that's my thing. And when I was, you know, when I had to look at that today, it can be something as small as that guys habits that keep us from really opening up, you know, that, you know, things that really keep us from going farther. When you make that conscious decision to like, let that go, not hold on to that. Okay. That's really going to free up and, and bring some opportunities, you know, or the things that you desire your way. But it first becomes, first it is looking at a habit, looking at your ego, looking at how you're responding to people, thoughts, beliefs, you know, things, situations around you. Maybe it's time to know to like, you know, refocus and like, what are you going to give your attention to? Do they, you know, do you, does this deserve your attention? (laughs) Is it worth you giving it energy? You know, figuring that out. It's really going to help you really going to manifest you know the things and the desires that you want because i really feel like we have the win or lose all right and then we also have change your focus <laughs> because maybe you're sitting here you know win or lose you know it's okay sometimes we flaw in our angle angle like you're not getting one over me like you know <laughs> you a hot mess and i'm about to tell you how you a hot mess And you have every right to tell a person how they are hot mess. I'm not telling you that you don't because honey, they hot messes. But at the end of the day, is it in love? Do you really want to give them that energy instead of just, you know, realizing what you have to do and going about your business, changing your focus? I'm not feeding that. Sometimes with being a leader and taking lead, I like how they have like, you know, this person Then they also have one in the back, him in the back, because sometimes as a leader, you have to decide, you have to realize when is it time to step up and when is it time to step back? And I really feel like this is what the divine is really going to be helping you with today. You know, when, what, when do you need to speak up and when do you need to, you know, scale back? What needs your attention and what do you need to let it go on by its way? I really feel like it's going to help you switch your perspective because maybe it's hard for you to switch your perspective and it's okay. Don't feel bad because sometimes we're flowing out of ego. Even when we have all the facts, you know what I'm saying? And we can uh, go in because I'm a Sagittarius and that's my thing, honey. Honey, when I come with the facts, I'm coming with all the facts for you. All of them from A to Z and a little bit more that I didn't found. But what, what am I doing? You know, what energy am I doing that in? Because that's what I'm going to cultivate back to me. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So I really want to just see, you know, um, what is it the divine wants you to know? Because, um, as I was shuffling these cards, you know, really know, zone in on today, you know, how can this like, you know, play out, you know, what message 
does the divine have for the message, <laughs> the spiritual guidance, you know, we have, you know, for today. Let's see. Let's see what else the divine wants to say, you know, because even when I was shuffling these cards, you know, um, there was a, the thunderbolt came out, you know, like, war, like storm warning. Okay. Um, but we have miracles. It says expect wonders to emerge. So I really feel like what you may be fearing, okay, when you just really look at it, when you just really go there, when you just really, you know, you know, look at your ego, <laughs> love your ego, you know, tell your ego like, no, this is not what we're going to do. We're not giving this situation any more of our time. We're not flowing from a place of, you know, anger or, you know, right, wrong. I'm coming from a place of love. And in my heart, this is not radiating love to me or for me. So I'm, 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 I'm out of here. And when you really step up and you really make that decision, this is what awaits you. Miracles expect wondrous wonders to emerge. Okay. Look at this at the bottom rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. So this is what's going on right now. Okay. Even though you may not look at this <laughs> passion and pleasure you know, say, um, savor your life. So I really feel like even though, you know, what you may be dealing with, like I told you in that cancer new moon, it may not be ideal, but I promise you what you are experiencing, you know, maybe it's, you know, you kind of got let down. You didn't, you didn't get that, you know, job opportunity you know, the relationship didn't work out. You know, you're kind of feeling like you're, you, you can't do this. You know, maybe you bit off more than you could chew. <laughs> maybe you're questioning yourself. Maybe you're overanalyzing, but I promise you whatever is showing up, if you look at it, all right, how the divine just explained us to, you know, and you keep going. Okay. Keep going. This is the trail. This is what's going on. I know that it may come in the form of, you know, um, a storm warning because that, that, that card wanted to come out, you know, but I promise you it's, it's not what it seems. Okay. Because this is what it's leading you to passion and pleasure, rainbow blessings, miracles. <laughs> like I told you, miracles, my love muffins. Okay. So my loves, I hope that this has brought you some clarity and some guidance and some understanding. It is always such a honor to read for you guys. Just know that I'm sending you beautiful souls, oodles and oodles of love and light as you heal, mend and set your hearts free, honey. <laughs> All right. So I love you and I will catch you on my channel. Do not forget to go outside, hug a tree for me and you let nature love on you. I literally went to the park guys and, you know, conquered my fears, as I said in that video and like really laid in the grass and you know that saying like ants in your pants? I just thought that was like kids that like were really hyper and really move, you know, fast. But no, that's a real thing because some ants got in my pants and bit me in some places that nobody should have to be bit in. <laughs> All right. Like I was like, oh my God, how did the ants get in my pants? Like that, that's crazy. But anyways, I love you guys and I will catch you on my channel and make sure you tune in that your monthly guidances would be dropping this weekend. Okay. Take care. Follow, she blazing. Uh, uh.